Okay, third time's the charm. This is the original music version. And this is singing it. We harm, we blame, we breathe. And this is adding voice effects. We harm, we blame, we breathe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 42, Riku, Balance, Compose. In this episode, we re-enter reflecting on composing for us exists on a fine line between order and chaos. And we invest creative energy and then we periodically Riku creative energy and we compose and we repeat. So in this episode, we spent time on three projects. We spent time on what we're calling voice effects, which you just heard a part of. We spent time on video editing, which we'll show you a little piece of here. And we spent time on animating, which we'll show you a little piece of here. And we're continuing to focus on what we're calling nuances of uh, visuals and nuances of sound. So continuing, this demonstration here, we learned how to take our voice, one voice, and in this voice, we kicked it up an entire octave. It kicked it up an octave. And for this part, we took the same recording and dropped it an octave. So the original recording sounded like this. We harm, we blame, we breathe. And then when we kick it up an octave, we get this. We harm, we blame, we breathe. And when we drop it, we get this. We harm, we blame, we breathe. And in doing that, we learned a lot more about this effect. For example, not only do we drop it one octave, but we took the formants and kicked it back up an octave. So we dropped everything down an octave and then took part of the characteristic timbre of our voice and pushed it back up. Otherwise, it sounded way too much like Earl, James Earl Jones. And the same thing for the octave one. Uh, we raised it an octave, but we took part of the formants, part of the characteristic frequency spectrum, blah, 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 and dropped that back an octave. Anyway, it, it sounded better. That was how we decided how to do that. Then we took it into this animation, and basically we just fed uh, the high voice left to this needle, the uh, medium voice right here, and the low voice center to there. So that's what we did there. Now, we did a similar exercise for another piece of work, um, a longer piece of work called Louder Than a Sound. And this does not have a um, piece of music associated. This is a, a collaborator's poem that we read. We told it, reread it three times. So this is no longer an exact overlap. And it starts like, it starts like this. It's like, it's a, like strange a strange reverse when I log in. Not really second, second, not a second, second, life. Not a second, not a second life. life. Now that's hard to keep track of. So what we did is we also made a copy of this. Using the same animation of uh, voice needles. And it's a little bit easier to track. It's, it's like a, like a strange reverse when, when I log, log in. in. Not really, Not really second, second, really second, 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 life. Life. second life. So more on that later. But the reflection is we're moving even further into live composition using our voice. And we're moving further into collaborative work with others. Um, and multimedia composition and expression. So you give another example. Here's a picture we took of a lighter flame today. And why did we do that? Because we were working on our between the lines composition. And we had have this. Now 
Now that is an animation of uh, this piece, which is currently muted all over the place. So what we've done here is we took, played the whole piece, the backbone, the cadence, and then because reasons, we added a, a reinforcement of the cadence at the end that was being used for feeding animation actors. And then we felt like this would be cool to animate as a flame. Now this flame, we tried to match the colors we see in this picture over here. And it looks like this. And then for grins, we just put them on top of each other so that... And the nuance here is that at the end where it goes... And the whole flame shifts to the right as if it was being blown by a breeze, which happened when we... Were, look, this got shifted. You see that? I mean, if we, uh, and uh, that, it turned out that by having this extra line called the end of the cadence only kick in at the end, that gave us a separate soundtrack. That gave us a separate soundtrack to use to animate um, and, and shift it over on the end. So we did that. And then finally, as we said, we've been working on this uh, edit of uh, a lecture on called Hammer Pixel. And this is about the media is the message, the global village, uh, and it's being presented to a modern day audience. And we're kind of further up, upping our skills here, doing what we call a snip forward. For example, we have to cut out a lot of stuff for brevity. And then what we've learned is you snip, snip, cut, slide everything back from the right back over to the left move forward till you need it cut, then resume, snip, snip, take out the middle, move it back over. So we call that snipping forward. And the difference is at the end here, we kind of snipped backward because we wanted to make sure we had a good ending. Like You're bringing a very different perspective to this uh, than the one I have. And I, I find it really interesting. And to be honest, much more relevant than mine because you are at the the leading edge of the changes we're experiencing in society from so that's the end that's the strong end and then if we go to the beginning with a better understanding of what marshall McLuhan was talking about so the beauty of this is it's excellent material and then just listen to that voice timbre that's a irish speaker native irish speaker and um, it's just gorgeous to hear all that. So that's the music of voice, which we just alluded to a minute ago. So what we're going to do is, uh, what are we going to do for you? We're going to play one thing all the way to the end. And that'll be between the lines uh, two, or maybe we'll play the animation. What did we leave this at? Yeah, let's, let's play that for you. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Where, where is it? Where did we put it? Oh, we didn't put it in here, did we? We didn't animate that yet. So... We'll play this one for you. No, that's why, that's the problem. We have to do this one. We, see, we have to keep track what project are we in anyway? Yeah, this one. This is the one I want to show you. Multimedia. So uh, here we go.
And what we like about this is how oh, you can't see it, but to us, we have four overlaid flames. Two of them are being driven by the backbone, which is the piano, bang, bang, bang. And two of them are being driven by the cadence, which is the sweep, sweep. And so there's a subtle variation in the elements of the overlaid flames. They're not just all doing a line dance together, although it looks like they are. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to basically continue. Um, uh, where is it? Down here. Uh, share the work today. Continue the video edit. There's a lot of work left there. Continue our collaborative projects, that poem, that long poem, uh, nuanced sound and images, and more on between the lines. So shout outs to user and dimmit <laughs> you guys how do i pronounce your names one two three four. and mr spat stopped by always good to see you miss cleo kept us inspired silent lurker and patient worker were there keeping us chugging along tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming <laughs>